up your flag. Hello everyone. Happy Independence Day. This is the 4th of July weekend and I love the 4th of July. It's so much fun. There's fireworks, <laughs> barbecues and games. Mm -hmm. But why do we celebrate 4th of July? Do you know? Well, the 4th of July is about our independence. It's about our freedom to live in this country. It's our freedom of religion and we have freedom for speech. And we have all of these freedoms because of wars that happened and battles that happened and we won the war. So we celebrate get to have- with awesome fireworks. So we celebrate that every year on the 4th of July. And lots of men and women died during those wars for our freedoms, right? Mm -hmm. So that's pretty awesome that we have all these freedoms in our country. It's an awesome country and we love being Americans, don't we? Yes. Freak off. But question, mm -hmm. we also have another freedom. We have freedom in Christ, don't we? How do we have freedom in Christ? What do you think? Christ gives us freedom. God gives us free will, right? Yeah. He, he he's not like us. a puppet master. He doesn't make us do everything that he wants us to do, right? We have choices. He gives we, us free love. He gives us free love. That's right. And we are free from sin because even though we have that free will, and we make all these bad decisions all the time and we sin every day. Yeah, God like forgives us. Candy. Yeah, when you sneak candy, that's a sin. That's bad. But God forgives us that. Oh, so we are free from the burdens of sin. We will not be punished for those sins because Jesus died for those sins on the cross, right? So I have Bible verses that we're going to read today from the gospel reading from Matthew chapter 11, starting with verse 28, I believe. Yes, and Benjamin's going to read 28, and I'm going to read the other two. Okay. Come to me, all you will who? know. Who are weary, weary and burdened, burdened all, and, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, easy, and my burden is light. Benjamin, have you ever carried a backpack? Yes. You have a backpack. So I have a backpack here. It's actually your backpack, yes. and it is heavy. I put a lot of books in here. If you had a choice between carrying this backpack around, here, feel how heavy that is, or if someone in your school said, Benjamin, I'll carry that for you. I'll you don't have to carry it, I'll carry it for you. What would you choose, to carry it yourself or have somebody else carry it? Mm, I mean, like, that would be a nice thing to say, but then they would just be doing the work for you and then you wouldn't be doing any labor. Yeah, you wouldn't be doing any labor, right. But you know what Jesus does for us? He carries our backpacks for us. He, he carries our burdens. He carries our worries, he carries our fears, he carries our sadness he carries everything yes. so we were given a choice we love god and we believe in jesus christ as our lord and savior and he chooses he chose to die on the cross and carry our backpacks our burdens our worries our fears everything and do you know what you know how we got our independence and lots of men and women had to die for that mm-hmm you know how many people had to die for our sins? No. One, just Jesus. Only Jesus had to die. And that is so much more important than winning our freedom in this country. It is so much more important that we have are free from sin. So we don't have to worry about our struggles. We can put all of that in God's hands and he mm -hmm. will always take care of us. Yep, we'll That's, put it in your pocket. Yep, yep, he'll just take it all away. Cause he says, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. 
and he will give us rest. Isn't that kind of nice? Yeah. We can rest in Jesus' arms. Mm -hmm. I like that. Should we pray? Dear God, thank you for carrying our burdens, for carrying our worries, our sadness, our fears, our struggles. Thank you for giving us rest and for giving us free will and for giving us the freedom from sin and death, for dying on the cross so that we can live with you one day up in heaven and we will always be with you. Watch over us, keep us safe, and guide us this week. In your name we pray. Amen. Happy 4th of July. Bye. Bye. You got it.